In the previous lecture, you understand how you can create this beautiful grid system using just a CSS. Now, let's see how to make this navigation menu responsive for all devices. Now, if you just take a look at your navigation menu, and if you decrease the viewport, you can notice the navigation menu is not responsive yet. So, let me just make this navigation menu responsive for all devices. So, I'm going to just open my header.css file, and in this file, I'm going to just create a simple media query. As you know, we're going to use media query to specify different classes depending on the viewport. So I'm going to simply add here a command and just say responsive toggle menu. And just out of that, I'm going to add here a media query and I'm going to create a media query on the max width 992 pixel. Now what I want, if the viewport is equal to 992 pixel, or less than that, I want to just specify different CSS properties to the HTML element using this media query. Now just after that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just add my toggle menu when the viewport is less than 992 pixel or equal to 992 pixel. So I'm going to first select the header, then select the header area and select my toggle button. And I'm going to just specify display block to it. So as I said earlier, I want to display this toggle menu only if the viewport is less than or equal to the tablet viewport. So if I just decrease this viewport, you can notice if the viewport is less than 992 pixel, I'm going to have my toggle menu. But at this point, I'm not going to get my toggle menu because in this class, I'm going to overwrite my default properties. So I'm going to just use important keyword to overwrite my default properties. So I'm going to just save all the changes. When I save it, you can notice we have the toggle menu here. Just out of that, when we have the toggle menu, I'm going to select the now class. I just specify flex wrap. It's going to be wrap and specify height to this now. So I'm going to say here 40 pixel. Save the changes. So this will specify height and flex wrap property to this navigation menu. Just out of that, I'm going to simply select the header area. So I'm going to copy this class, paste it down here. So I'm going to select header area, then select now class, and then select collapse class. Along with that, I want to select now bar now. So I'm going to select now and select now bar now. And to these classes, I'm going to simply specify flex direction is going to be columns. When I save the changes, you can notice we have all these navigation items on the new column. Now just out of that, I'm going to just specify margin auto to center these columns. And just out of that, I'm going to specify text align, which is going to be center to center this text. As you can see, we just center all this text. And now just out of that, I want to change the display property of this form group. So I'm going to simply select my header, then I'm going to select form group class. And to this form group, I'm going to say display inline block. When I save the changes, you can notice I have my text box here. And just out of that, I'm going to add some margin to it. Margin to the top and bottom. So I'm going to say 2% to the top and bottom and 0 for the left and right. This will add some margin. Then I'm going to select this navigation links. So I'm going to select header header area. Then select now link class. And I want to add some padding to it. So I'm going to say padding 10 pixel, 10 pixel to the top and bottom and 0 for the left and right. Save all the changes. So this will add some padding to these navigation items. Now just out of that, I'm going to just select this header area. So I'm going to simply select this header area, copy it, paste it down here and I want to specify height to it. The height is going to be 45 viewport height. Then I'm going to specify background which is the dark color. So I'm going to call var function and say dark. Now, because I'm going to remove this background color, that is why I just specify this background color to this navigation menu. Just out of that, I'm going to just simply specify transition for the height property. And I'm going to just specify 0.5 second is. And at the last, I'm going to simply specify a very important property, which is overflow y hidden. So this will hide all the overflow content from the top and bottom from this navigation menu. Save all the changes. 
so this will not change anything yet but if i just change this height and if i just say here 60 pixel then you can notice this will hide all the overflow content from this navigation menu now what i want so when i click on this button i want to change this height property so i'm going to do that using javascript so i'm going to simply open my javascript file so you know that we have this file in this js folder we have this main.js file and inside it i'm going to just add some javascript code so i'm going to first simply select the toggle button so i'm going to just simply create here a variable let toggle button and i'm going to just store the toggle menu inside this variable so i'm going to just say here document dot query selector and using this query selector i'm going to select the toggle button so in the double code i will just simply say now toggle button so in this variable i have my toggle button just after that i'm going to just duplicate this line change this class and just say here header header area and just change this variable to header in this header variable i have my header element now just out of that i'm going to just create a click event on my toggle button so i'm going to simply select my toggle button and create a click event on this toggle button so i'm going to just simply call a property on click and specify the handler function to it so i'm going to call here function and specify the event parameter now in this function i'm going to just simply call header dot class list dot toggle and just add a simple class which is now collapse now let me just explain what i'm going to do now when i click on this toggle button i want to add this nav collapse class to this header so i'm going to just simply use toggle method to add this class so when you click on this toggle button i'm going to add this class and when you click on this toggle button again i want to remove this class as simple as that save all the changes back to your header dot css file and just down here i'm i'm going to just create this simple class now collapse so i'm going to just create this class down here and to this class i'm going to specify height 24 rem and just specify important keyword save all the changes and now let me show you the result when i click on this toggle menu you can see i have my navigation menu as simple as that now if you just take a look at this navigation menu then you can see we have this responsive navigation menu this navigation menu is now responsive in the next lecture i will show you how you can create this beautiful banner area for this website so i will see you in the next one now in the previous lecture we understand how you can create this beautiful navigation menu and make this navigation menu responsive for all the devices now let's see how to create this beautiful banner area where we have this beautiful background image this title and the description so let's see how to do it so i'm going to simply open my editor and in this editor i'm going to first open my index.html file and in this file down here inside this main section of this website i'm going to create a new section for this banner area so i'm going to add here a command and in this command i'm going to say banner area so this is going to be the starting point of this banner area and this is the end of this banner area now in this command i'm going to simply call section tag to create a new section if you want you can use division tag also but it is always a best practice to have this section tag on a new section so i'm going to add here section and i'm going to simply specify class to it banner area and inside this section i'm going to first create a division tag with the global class container fluid you know that we already have this class so i'm not going to create this class again now inside this container i'm going to simply create banner class and inside this banner division tag i'm going to simply add here image tag and in the source attribute i'm going to specify the banner image so i'm going to first select the asset folder then select my images and then i'm going to select this banner image here if you want you can specify alt attribute as well so i'm going to say here banner area 
Along with that, I want to specify class to this image to make this image responsive. So I'm going to say here class and specify a global class to it, which is fluid. So this class will make this image responsive. Now just out of that, right here, I'm going to create a class banner title. And just out of that, I also want to add a global class here, which is text center. So this class is useful to center all the text. So I'm going to add here a global class text center to center all the text and the banner title class. Now just out of that, I'm going to add here h1 heading tag and I'm going to simply specify hard coded text here, which is simplicity. And I'm going to specify class to this h1 heading tag and to this class attribute, I'm going to specify my global classes. So I'm going to simply specify here text LG. So this will just change this text to large text. Then I'm going to specify here text light. This will specify text light color to this simplicity text. Just out of that, I'm going to add here span tag. And in this span tag, I'm going to have the description of this banner area. So I'm going to say here the power of WordPress. Then I want to add some class to this span tag that I'm going to simply create a class and specify here description. And I want to specify text SM. This will just change the size of this text and specify text light class. So this will just change the color of this text and specify light color to this description. Save all the changes back to your website. You can notice we have the banner area for this website. We have this background image, the title of this banner area and the description. Now let me show you how you can specify style to this banner area. So to specify style to this banner area, I'm going to simply open my editor and inside it, I'm going to just open my style.css file. Now in this style.css, I'm going to just toggle this window on the right side like this and style this banner area. So I'm going to simply first create here a command and just say here banner area. I'm going to first select this banner. So I'm going to simply select this banner class, this one. So in the style.css file, I'm going to first select the main area. So I'm going to say here main area. So I'm going to first select the main tag, then select the banner area and then select banner. And to this banner, I'm going to specify position absolute. Then I'm going to specify top property is going to be zero because I want to bring this banner always at the top and I'm going to specify Z index is going to be one. Save all the changes. You can notice we don't have this styling to this banner area because as you can see, we don't have this class to the main tag. So I'm going to first specify this class to the main tag. So I'm going to open my index.html file and specify class to this main section. And I'm going to say main area. When I save the changes, you can notice I have that styling to this banner section. Now, just out of that, I'm going to just specify here width and the width is going to be 100 percent and height is going to be 100 percent save all the changes this will add some style to this banner section now you can notice when we specify z index property one to this banner area the navigation menu is gone so if i just specify here minus one you're going to get your navigation menu so this will just bring this banner area behind this navigation menu just out of that, I'm going to style this title and the description. So I'm going to simple select this main area banner area, copy it, paste it down here. And at this point, I want to select banner title. And to this banner title, I'm going to first specify height, which is 100%. Then specify width to it, which is also 100%. And max height is going to be for 50 pixel. Just out of that, I'm going to specify top padding to this section. So I'm going to say padding top is going to be 15%. Right? So this will just add some top padding to this section. Just out of that, I'm going to specify padding bottom. So I'm going to say padding bottom is going to be 6 rem. Save the changes. Now you can see we just specify some custom styling. If you want, you can change this font family as well. So I'm going to simply select the font tag, specify the font style normal, 
then specify 800 font width 1.5 is the font size and 1 RAM is the font line height then I'm gonna call here font family which is font mont this will just change the font family of this title now just after that I'm gonna just remove this simple padding from the left side you can notice here we have padding here so I'm gonna just remove this padding so I'm gonna first open my editor and in the grid.css I'm gonna have here padding to this container fluid class so I'm gonna just remove this padding and save all the changes when I save the changes you can notice this will just remove this padding from this banner section so now the banner section is now ready let's move on to the next section of this template so in the next section I'm gonna simply create this category section where we have these different categories and when we hover on these categories you can notice we have this beautiful hover effect so in the next lecture you'll understand how to create this beautiful category section so I'll see you in the next one